Hello, this is Alberto Kennedy again. This video segment, this short, because I do them really short, uh, so chock full of information. This one, um, I want to talk about the solitary practitioner. Those who practice magic or follow a magical tradition, but they do it by themselves in terms of on their own. They don't have a coven. Uh, they don't work with other people. They use, they're solitary practitioners, and they are exactly what that term implies. I am a solitary practitioner. I've had many teachers, um, some of the light, some not so brightly lit in terms of they walked a darker path. My system of magic is more of an amalgam of different magics um, and pr magical principles. Um, I fuse the psychic with the magic. Uh, my psychic abilities as a psychic medium, I fuse with my magic. And how, do you, how does one do that? Well, if you're a medium, a psychic medium, then you have access to another realm, the spirit realm. You know that there's many layers to that spirit realm, not just one realm. There's many different layers to it, just like there's many different layers to this dimension. Um, when I fuse my magics with my psychic ability, I, for example, uh, when I astral project, um, I can cast spells on the other side, um, healing the dead, protecting the dead, um, teaching the dead to cross over, because some of them tend to get lost along the way. Some of, uh, some of the dead tend to uh, uh, be afraid of this new transition, because they're going through a transition. I mean, it's, it's traumatic. Uh, from All of a sudden, you're in this realm, and then you're in the next. And some of them, some of the dead have a hard time making that transition. So I healed them and as best as I can. Um, in my past, I have had many problems with uh, dark magics. Um, and I had to learn how to combat that. So now what I do is I don't combat anything. Um, I'm not afraid of the dark. The darkness is, a, is one of the universal elements. Um, what I do is I bring light to it. I had one person uh, that shall remain nameless um, tell me, well, you working with your ancestors and your uh, uh, angels, he goes, I doubt you'll have enough strength or they'll have enough strength to fight the de demonic. And he was a dark person. He was a dark energy worker. My response was, wherever the light goes, darkness flees. And the light and angelic, the angelic presence, yes, they are sweet. Yes, they are love. Yes, they are healing and knowledge and protection. But the light can also burn. Um, and I think he that was lost on him. So I share that with you as well in terms of magic when people work with the light. There's knowledge, there's beauty, there's safety, there's healing. Uh, and we all in this world need healing on the physical realm. Um, and that's what I try to do with my magics. Um, that's what I try to do with my abilities. Um, I, st I knew I had abilities since I was, what, 12 years old? Um, and my mom guided me, and because she practices. And then once I come, came of age, I started knowing I, I, started, I, I could do things, I could do different things. Um, and I, I, I was lost for a minute when I was my young, uh, when I was a young adult in my 20s, I did some things that I shouldn't have because the teacher that I had was teaching me dark. So I, w I went down that path until I started making decisions for myself. Um, other traditions accepted me, uh, but at a distance because I'm gay. So they said that, uh, well, homosexuality is not as frowned upon in the Afro-Latin religions. Fine. Um, I followed my own path and, uh, I'm very blessed because my ancestors taught me and they teach me and they guide me. Uh, the angelic presence, they don't really care what sexual orientation you are. They're not the sex police. 
what they want to do is help you evolve so you can help others evolve in whatever path that they have chosen to embark on. Um, my job as a, a psychic medium or as a practitioner is not to tell you what God wants. That, 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 no, I don't speak for God. Um, my job is to guide you in whatever path you, you elect to follow. Uh, my job is to bring light to dark places. Uh, my job is to, if I get somebody that needs help, I'm going to help them any way that I can. Um, if somebody needs protection magically, I teach how to protect yourself uh, just as much as I protect. Um, and that's probably the caregiver in me because I am also a caregiver. Um, I care. And just wanted to share that with you um, and that magic and the psychic realm are really one in the same and they deserve to be merged. I wrote a book that I'm trying to get published, um, but it seems that they're trying to classify the book in either the magic genre or the self-help psychic genre. My book encompasses all of that because that's what I engender. That's who I am. That's what I'm about. My magic is is t very tied in with my psychic ability. Um, and I think that's what guides me when I'm helping people, when I'm healing people. Um, and I just want to share that with you. Um, whoever is looking at my video and whoever really needs uh, knowledge, whatever I have to give, I can totally give. And this is just one new medium that I'm employing to do that. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know. Okay.